kiwis love to flock to our rivers in summer, but toxic algae, or cyanobacteria, are an increasing problem in many of our rivers. In the last decade, we've seen an increase in the amount of toxic algae across Aotearoa. As climate change increases temperatures and there are longer, drier periods, toxic algae will become more problematic. It can grow in rivers that most people think are clean and great swimming spots. So here's what you need to know to keep you, your family and your pets safe. Toxic algae grows on the rocks at the bottom. It forms thick, black-brown mats that have a very distinctive, earthy, musty smell to them. They are often found in the fast parts of the river, but the biggest risk is when these mats detach from the rocks. The mats can float downstream and accumulate along the edges of the river. Here they are highly accessible to dogs and children playing in the shallows. Toxic algae produce a very potent, fast-acting toxin. Just one teaspoon can be enough to kill small children and dogs. Dogs are often attracted to the earthy, musty smell of the mats. If your dog does eat some of the algae, get them to the nearest vet as soon as possible. The same applies to humans. Get them to the doctor as soon as possible. Councils do a great job of monitoring rivers and swing holes, but their staff can't go everywhere. So get to know what it looks like before you head down to the river. The best thing you can do to keep your family and pets safe is to stay informed. You can check out the latest data on the Where Can I Swim page on the Lawa website. Be on the lookout for warning signs of toxic algae at your favourite swimming spot. If you think you've spotted toxic algae, keep out of the water and avoid drinking or touching it and let your local council know.